Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We're cracking on with your viewer requested questions. Today we've got one. Can you put on the brake and they will fly right by? This is obviously going to be a reference to Top Gun. So we've got to specify exactly what we mean here. We'll go through that in a minute. Two. Can you be in a 4G inverted dive with a MiG-28? Uh, again, we're going to have to actually break that down into what they're actually asking there. Three. Flat spin in a Tomcat. Again... I mean, these are simplified questions to actually quite complicated scenarios. And I thought, because we're looking at Top Gun here, obviously, why don't we add in a fourth, which is the birdie thing when the canopies come together, to see if that's possible. Let's go and have a look at some source data. Because I was inverted, stand by. I can't shoot this son of a bitch. Let's see if we can have a little fun with him. Is this your idea of fun, Matt? Greetings! <laughs> Watch the birdie! Jeez, I cracked myself up. So that was the birdie incident when they're, what, mm, four feet canopy to canopy? Uh, let's just clear that one up straight away because that's a super easy one. So this is an F-14. It doesn't really matter what variant. They're all the same in terms of the shape of the body and whatnot. This is an F-5, which is what they used as the MiG-28 in the Top Gun films. There's no such thing, obviously, as a MiG-28. It's a two-seater variant, but it's, it's near enough. The scale, I've just scaled this roughly by eye. It might not be perfect, but it's going to be, become quite obvious that it doesn't really matter anyway. So if this guy was flying perfectly left, Level, so a longitudinal axis, perfectly lateral, i.e. no angle of attack, and the same with this guy, which isn't possible for a start, but let's just pretend that was possible. Then if you see there, that's roughly matched up with that there, and the tail is just kind of nudging the body. So it's absolute theoretically kind of sort of possible in reality you could obviously never do that no pilot would be able to hold that still enough it's simply not possible but we start to add another little element of reality in and the thing is if we look at the f-14 here the wings of the f-14 which give the majority of the lift simply aren't designed to fly upside down for many obvious reasons the only way for this aircraft here to fly along straight is to ride at a massively high angle of attack the faster they're going the lesser angle of attack but it's still a massively high angle of attack compared to this guy here because his wings are the right way around they're doing the job they're meant to do so in reality i've drawn this about 10 degrees angle of attack which I mean, it depends on the speed, and it doesn't tell us what speed, so we're just going to make some assumptions about 300 knots or something like that. Your F-14 is going to be at a crazy angle of attack, something like this, whereas your F-5 is going to be a very low angle of attack, 2, 3, maybe 4 degrees. And you can see you have obviously have a massive clash if you try to do this, and no, the answer is it's simply not possible. This is not to mention the crazy turbulence that these two, car these two planes would be inflicted on each other. It simply wouldn't be possible, even if you had pilots good enough to hold these two together like at that distance which you don't no one in the world can do that then the turbulence would physically make it impossible so that is debunked easily and i'm sure most of you thought that anyway pulling the brakes and he'll fly right by this is it maverick i'm gonna hit the brakes he'll fly right by shit he's gonna get a walk on us now so first of all he's not talking about air brakes well in fact he might have been talking about air brakes and we can add air brakes in there but what he's really talking about is aero brake which means that he's momentarily inducing a massive peak of angle of attack that's the best way to slow any aeroplane down and you probably can do it in the tomcat i've never tried but it might snap the wings off it's going to depend on what kind of speed we're going but let's just go and drill back down in that and check check exactly what it does so he does something with his stick it looks like he's just pulling back on his stick that's the second frame. So he's pulling back on his stick. He doesn't seem to be pressing anything. And he's doing something with the throttle. And I can't quite see that. Okay, so his throttle was about half, somewhere between neutral and half. It's hard to tell. He slams it full into full reheat. He pulls back onto the stick, which is just a classic Cobra manoeuvre, basically. It's accurate. It is pretty much the... Well, it's not the proper way to slow an aircraft down. The proper way is a high-G barrel roll, which we can show you if you like in a minute. But in this case, as you can see, he pitches up. Massive moment of angle of attack. The aircraft, although it's pointing up, is actually going kind of that direction there. So it's presenting a huge cross-section to the airflow. A massive air resistance. And it's going to slow the plane down. So, yes, an F-14 can do that. The question is, can an F-5 do that? Which is what they call it, a big 28 in the movie. And the answer is probably not. Due to the massive cross-section of the body in the Tomcat and the huge wings, this 
Tomcat probably will aero brake faster than the F5. So the F5 probably will shoot by and we'll add air brake in as well. But air brake will do almost nothing in a situation like this. So that's that. We'll go and test that in a bit. Let's move on to the next, which is the negative dive. Now this one, I'm going to have to listen to very carefully. Stand by. How's that, Lieutenant? Well, I just happened to see a MiG-28. We do. We. Sorry. We happened to see a MiG-28 do a 4G negative dive. So this is where Hollywood gets a bit funky. A 4G negative dive. What is that? And that doesn't actually mean anything in aeronautics. If he's talking about a dive where he pulls 4G or positive 4G, then uh, all airplanes can do that. Anything, a Spitfire could do that. You could probably have an old World War I plane do that. So that's an irrelevance. So what he must be actually meaning to say is a negative 4G dive. That's different to a 4G negative dive, like he said. So we're going to make the assumption he means a negative 4G dive or a minus 4G dive. And the only way that I'm aware of doing that is an over-the-top dive. So as opposed to inverting, rolling the plane over, and then putting aft stick, which is a normal, all planes can do that. I'm assuming that it is an over-the-top dive where it's just forward stick and going into a negative 4G. And that's, again, a fair question. A lot of planes can't do that, uh, especially the Russia, the Soviet planes had notoriously bad problems with negative G pushovers. Uh, even the later ones, the SU-27s, you completely stall the engines. So we'll have a look at see if the F5 can do that. Now he didn't actually say if the Tomcat, Tom Cruise didn't say the Tomcat did that or not. We'll give it a try and see. Uh, but he didn't specify that. And we'll see the, if the MiG-29 could do that as well. I believe that the uh, MiG-28s in this film were supposed to be the modern uh, at the time MiG-29, correct me if I'm wrong, so we'll try that with the MiG-29 as well. And the fourth thing, can the Tom go into, go into a flat spin? That's interesting. Um, certainly in real life, absolutely, yeah. The A model, the Alpha model with the older engines, they often kill their pilots by getting into flat spins. The way they did that is that the older A model engines were prone to compressor stalls. So basically the engine just shuts down if you like. You've got two engines, they're very far apart from each other laterally. And so if one engine cuts down, the pilot's natural response is to push the power up on the remaining engine to keep flying. What that does is produce a large yaw torque or a spin torque because the engines are so far apart from each other and it will send it into a flat spin. Right, so let's get on into DCS and let's go and try this. DCS is known more or less as the most realistic simulator out there for this kind of thing. So if you can do it in DCS, you can pretty much do it in real life. That's RC, it is MiG-28. Here is me and my Tomcat F-14B. I believe he was actually dropping an A version in the film, but it's going to make almost no difference. I'm going to fly ahead. We're just going to say 400 knots. It just seems a typical kind of dogfight speed. If you can get real close behind me, RC, uh, like they were in the movie just uh, you know a couple of two three hundred feet behind me I'm going to do a Cobra you try and stay with me and what we'll probably find is that the due to the, the nature of the Tomcat I will be able to create more drag and slow down you probably will overshoot okay I'm going now if you just fall back and get my six. Oh! oh. <laughs> I think you started as a little close let's say um, yeah don't worry about that, I'll see I'll cut that out of the video. Now when I'm doing this, I'm going to pull full aft stick, I'm going to put full burner on, and I'll probably watch it from the MIGS view, um, just because it'll allow you to see exactly. I'm not going to give you any warning, you just try and stick with it, stand by. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it works, and I'm going to come oh, down, I'm back behind. on you. He's still behind me. No, I'm still behind. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, I'll see. I'm going to go when I'm ready. I'm not going to give you any warning. Stand by. Roll over. Got him! Oh. Well, I've certainly shaken you off by that RC. I reckon if you weren't ready for that, because it's so violent in the F-14, you could, you could do it in a dogfight. So I think that's that just about myth confirmed there from the looks of it I think that's very hard to keep up with okay the next thing we're going to test is the negative 4G over the top dive I'm going to have to do it from external view so that you can see G stand by I don't think we'll have any problems with this plane doing it I don't think there's any avionics that are going to try and stop me but let's see you can see the G down at the bottom currently 1G obviously 3, 2, 1, go Blackout doing it obviously, but the plane can handle it no problems at all. It doesn't seem to have any um, 
and he can cut out to the engines. Are you ready to try it, RC? A negative 40 dive. Here we go. Oh, you got to negative six. Negative four, yeah, that's a negative four. Black. Let's see if you come alive. He's blacked himself Black. out because he went all the way to uh, negative six. Are you up? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so at least in DCS, the F5 can do negative 4G with no engine problems. Obviously, the pilot blacks out, but that's normal. And the F-14 can do it. I'm going to go try the MiG-29 purely out of interest uh, for the reasons we spoke about earlier. Stand by. We're now in the mighty MiG-29A. We believe that this is what the MiG-28s or the F-5s in the Top Gun movie were supposed to represent. Obviously, you didn't have any CGI and you couldn't get any hold of any real MiG-29s back then. So that would be the reason for that. Let's see if we can do a, a negative 4G dive. Stand by. It can't. It can't. It's got some avionics in there that are stopping it pulling more than 2G. Way to go, Top Gun. Nice. I'm just going to go and retry that to make sure it wasn't a fluke. And I'm going to try it again. Yeah, negative two is all I can do. So Top Gun is coming up trumps at the moment. Very good. Okay. Now, all we've got to do is the flat spin now. So I'm going to jump in a Tomcat. What I'm going to try, first of all, is just going along normally, happily. Uh, one of my engines accidentally cuts. Whoop, there it goes. The other one I'm going to power up. And what we're going to find is probably not a great deal of torque. There will be some torque. You can see that the aircraft's starting to kind of pitch round to the right now. And that's because we've only got one engine. That engine's going. That engine's not. But because we've got plenty of, you know, forward speed, there's nothing really to initiate it into a flat spin. What we need to do, if I put my other engine back on, uh, get ourselves to where we are with just one engine and to where our airspeed is very low. So that means we're gonna have to do uh, a bit more work. So we're gonna get some speed up. So this time I'm gonna pretend to be in a dogfight. I'm gonna get my airspeed very low because of the dogfight is pushing me to the limits. An engine's gonna cut out. I'm gonna cut an engine and, um, and we should uh, see a flat spin come through. So we're in a dogfight. Reduce our airspeed. Bad guys all over me. That is going to develop into a flat spin. he's going to go to a very miserable end so we've debunked the birdie scene the fly right by scene i think it's possible for the reasons that we've explained especially against an f5 i think an f5 will really struggle to keep up with that kind of aero break the over the top negative 4g dive i'm really surprised actually works the mig 29 can't do it the f14 can do it and the f5 can do it which is what they of course used as the mig 28 in the film and the flat spin is yes you get yourself into it but you have to be you know doing harsh maneuvers and you have to get down to stall speed to actually do it and to get into a flat spin in an f14b at least which is what we've got here i don't think you could do it unless you're in extreme parameters like we've got that so that is our interpretation and investigation of the top gum film stunts i hope you enjoyed that and see you later